Today I fucked up by accepting my niece's challenge to a fight. This actually happened about eight years ago. It was Christmas Day. My family had gathered at my grandma's house to celebrate. We had eaten dinner and opened presents. My brother showed up with his family, which at the time consisted of him, his girlfriend at the time, and their five-year-old daughter Wibby. I don't know why but every kid in the family has wanted to beat me up. My son has done it his whole life. My oldest niece and her sister said they wanted to beat me up once. I don't act like a jerk with them and do my best to support and encourage each child in what their interests are. Maybe it's because they know I do martial arts and competed in several different styles. Anyhow I'm just sitting on the couch watching the kids open their presents and socializing when Wibby comes up to me and says that she could beat me up. I decided to play along and said that she couldn't. She reiterated that she could. So I said go ahead and try. I was only playing along. I got on my knees and put my hands up in a boxer stance. I only intended to let her throw some punches and then pick her up and put her on the couch and tickle her or something like that. She stood in front of me and ran at me. I was put up my guard to protect my head expecting some headshots. Suddenly my air got knocked out. I collapsed to the floor unable to breath. Pain shot through my body. Wibby ran up and kicked me square in the nuts. She took me out with one hit. I was laying on the living room floor in front of the entire family defeated by a little girl. She reminded me to never underestimate your opponent. I still laugh remembering this. Too long did not read. My five-year-old niece challenged me to a fight on Christmas Day. I played along and she beat me in one hit by punting my balls into my throat. It ain't Christmas without a nutcracker. You always gotta protect the McNuggets. This is some Twilight Zone shit. The exact same thing happened to me but with my daughter. She told me she could beat me up and make me fall to the ground. She took 10 steps back while I took a boxer stance, except I didn't turn my body. She was 6, how much damage can she do? Started running at me with her fist in the air, jumped and kicked me straight in the nuts. I crumbled down while she laughed at me. I will never underestimate anyone, ever again. She made you wibby wobbly, rolling on the floor laughing. Obligatory Bobby Hill, that's, my, purse. Ding ding, K.O. Today I fucked up by trying to surprise my fiancé. I fucked up big time. So my fiancé is divorced with two toddlers. Her ex-husband gets visitation every other weekend supervised by her family or a sheriff. Three judges found and supported that he was abusive physically and mentally. Also he's a total ass. Well my fiancé has two daughters and is currently pregnant with our daughter. Her ex-husband messaged her. Hey I found a box of your baby clothes, do you want them for new baby girl? My fiancé immediately said no, I figured because it was coming from him and she didn't want to upset me. I tried to tell her, no, please accept your baby stuff. I know how sentimental you are. She just told me, it's not a big deal just leave it. Well on the night she was due to pick up the girls from the ex, she was scheduled to work. So therefore I would have to pick them up. I texted the ex-husband. Hey, I'm getting the girls and I'll also pick up fiancé's baby clothing. He happily agreed. I got the girls in the box, wrapped it all pretty and presented it to my fiancé. She opened the box and lo and behold, her baby clothing. She was tearing up, with happy tears. Until she dug deeper. Ex-husband cut up all her baby clothing and added a few choice notes. The note stated, hope you miscarry you stupid bitch, and, fuck you. She threw down the clothing and just walked out. I went in the bedroom and told her, I'm sorry I was just trying to help. She said she understood but is upset because she has told me multiple times that her ex is a fucking psychopath, and that I should just listen to her. It's not that I don't believe her, I do. The guy sucks. I just really didn't think that he would go that far to upset her. Too long did not read. Tried to surprise my pregnant fiancé with a sentimental gift, it backfired and now she's upset. Op, this man is evil. Is no conscience and no concern for anyone but himself. I'll repeat that. He has no concern for anyone but himself. In future interactions I strongly suggest you have no concern for him. Be most concerned for your new loved ones and child cuz he will do his absolute best to f every one of them over. Would this be enough to help remove him for your lives for good like legally? Yeah. Should have inspected the box first. I'm not sure how you're not more upset. This piece of shit wished death upon your child. I'd be fucking livid. I didn't think he'd do that, this is a guy who abused his own kids to the point that he can't visit them unsupervised. Yes, he'd do that. Yes, 
He will do much worse if you don't take precautions. And hash X200B. Listen to women. It's not that I don't believe her, I do. The guy sucks. I just really didn't think that he would go that far to upset her. I think you may need to have a bit of a look at yourself here. You clearly did not believe her, while also giving the benefit of the doubt to some other guy you don't even like. Today I fucked up by not knowing that Spotify shows friends what you are currently listening to. It has been a while for me but I recently have started to date this girl. We aren't together, but have been on a few dates and things have been going well. The other day on one of our dates we were getting into each other's music tastes and she added me on Spotify. Honestly, I was unaware that Spotify even had an ad friends feature so I had no clue how this works. Fast forward to last night. Now, with the pandemic and everything I had a lot of time on my hands and wound up realizing that I enjoy the occasional erotic novel, story. I'm sure you can guess where this is going now. At night I am listening to an erotic story on Spotify and texting her just shooting the shit. She asks what I'm doing and I lie and say I'm just watching some Netflix. She then sends me a screenshot of Spotify telling her that I am listening to Naughty Jane's erotic stories. I have never been so mortified in my entire life. I tried to come up with some excuse but she seemed weirded out and said she was going to bed. Not sure if things will work out anymore skeptical smiley face. Too long did not read. Spotify showed the girl I'm seeing that I was listening to an erotic novel and might have ruined things. If she enjoyed spicy romance novels and you called her out and shamed her for it you'd be labeled a jerk. If she is judging you for this she isn't the one. I remember back in the day, when Blackberry Messenger was a thing, it also had that feature, show what I'm listening to, something wrong obviously happened where it would show the title of the video you were watching. So in high school, we had this Portuguese kid, mass in my opinion or something, who during class would go to the bathroom and, listen, to, Latin busty teen threesome, and wonder why we'd be laughing at him when he came back 10 minutes later. Not really your fuck up. What she did was weird. Why would someone confront someone else about listening to erotic stuff? Most people straight up watch porn. But if I catch someone doing it I'm sure as hell not gonna bring it up in any conversation because. Why? Would I? That's their business lol? If she judges you for that, that's on her. If it doesn't work out because of this, you've dodged a bullet. Maybe she's disappointed that you lied and made excuses, not that you were listening to erotica? I would hate for a girl I'm dating to see that I listen to, Kim, by Eminem every morning to put myself in a better mood. Today I fucked up, I accidentally licked the sweat off my best friend and now he's invited me back to his house. So me and my friend really like to go swimming and we ended up going to the sauna afterwards, we both have subscriptions to go there for free. We started wrestling in the sauna because nobody was there but the guy tried biting me, softly, so I thought it would throw him off if I did the same but I was too far so I went for a lick for the extra range. Instead of him getting off though he moaned and I was like df? After that I said it was weird and to get off and he then did. I felt pretty creeped out by the experience. We left the swimming facility to go get some food. McDonald's is a really nice place after a swim. Then he invited me to go over his house next week. I'm utter freaked out legit so weird. Should I go or politely reject the offer? I'm afraid if I go he might have the wrong idea. Too long did not read. Licked my friend's sweat and now he's invited me out over his place but I can't tell if it's weird or not. Wrestling in a sauna huh? Just a bunch of lads having a go at each other, eh? All good fun. Well this is like the beginning of like 20% of every gay porno ever. If your buddy was in the closet, you just pulled the door wide open. Instead of him getting off though he moaned. Oh, he got off. Stop doing gay stuff and then get freaked out when gay stuff escalates. Lol. Go and keep your socks on JK. Wrestling in the sauna then licking your friend after they bite you softly. Uh huh. You putting off big, dick me down daddy, vibes. Accidentally, go for it, op.